The exhibition on viruses uh, comes from a long interest by a new institute to work with forms of design that are not necessarily connected to objects and to authors uh, that are most of the times invisible. Uh, in the case of viruses, we consider that they are acts of sophisticated design that even if you don't know the authors because most of the times are clandestine and you don't see it because it seems to be invisible, their manifestations and effects are very physical and actually very big uh, in our world. I was a malware victim many times, especially when I was studying architecture in the 2000s. We were still using floppy disks. So viruses were spreading all over the place and actually was the perfect excuse to not to finalize a project because it was like, oh, my computer was infected, I couldn't finalize this, uh, yeah, this project for the school. To me, the most beautiful virus, perhaps not in terms of aesthetics, but of the message, is the Skynet virus that is also called Terminator here. And I like it because it says, don't be afraid, I'm a very kind virus, you have been working a lot, today so now you can slow down. It's asking you to stop working and take time for you which I think is quite needed nowadays. Malware could be considered art but in this exhibition we position malware as a form of design. For us was a turning point to understand how viruses uh, were starting as an activity by the counter culture and a small group of hackers and how in WannaCry you see how it has been transformed in a geopolitical weapon that affects many countries around the world that transcends borders and uh, governments. And in this case, WannaCry caused many damage in different countries like Russia, Ukraine, India, Taiwan, was allegedly uh, conducted by North Korea and caused a lot of uh, losses in millions of euros. So you can see the extent to which viruses now affect our lives. Safety is perhaps a notion that has to be redefined because uh, nowadays being safe is not the same as many years ago. So I think in order to be safe, uh, we have to negotiate between safety and freedom. Um, and I don't think we can ever be completely safe, no. When we were preparing the exhibition, we had a lot of fun with the story of the Anna Kurnikova virus. This virus was designed by Jan de Witt, a Dutch uh, young uh, person living in the Netherlands. And the virus was actually uh, sent by email and allegedly was containing images of uh, Anna Kurnikova, the Russian tennis player. And obviously when you try to click in the image and, and see the images of Anna Kurnikova, the virus will uh, uh, attack your computer. What was so funny is that even if Jan was almost convicted by designing the virus, he got an offer from the mayor of his hometown to be part of the local IT department. So it was an interesting and beautiful end of a story.